Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. So have you ever reached your Ethernet connection could reach further? Then in this video, we're diving into the world of network expansion and I've got two powerful methods to share with you for extending your Ethernet connection and improving connectivity around your space. And this method will come in handy. So extending network data is essential for overcoming distance limitations and expanding connectivity in various applications. The need arises when network devices are located beyond the standard Ethernet cable range, typically around 100 meters, that's about 328 feet. An Ethernet extender kit amplified the Ethernet signal, enabling data transmission over longer distances. Additionally, using two Ethernet extension kit allows users to extend network connection up to 300 meters by using existing cable. And this method addressed the challenge of limited network reach, providing flexible solution for applications such as civilian system, SS point, and other scenario where extending network data is crucial for efficient and effective operations. And Power over Ethernet is a technology that enables the simultaneous transmission of data and electrical power over a single Ethernet cable. Its primary role is to provide power to network devices, eliminating the need for separate power cables and outlets. And PoE is particularly advantageous for devices like camera, wireless access point, and VoIP phone. And in today's setup, we are going to use PoE technology to power up our PoE extender to transmit data. And it can also streamline installation and reducing clutter in a networking setup. And the benefits of using PoE for Ethernet extension are evidence in its simplicity and cost effectiveness. By combining data and power transmission into one cable, PoE simplifies the deployment of network devices, especially in areas where traditional power sources are challenging to access. And this not only reduces installation costs, but also enhances the flexibility in device placement. Additionally, PoE support remote power management, allowing for efficient monitoring and control of connected devices. So now we're here to showcase method one using our Ethernet extension kit. So let's do the connection together. First, we have a router here, and we have the PoE injector beside it, using an Ethernet cable to connect the router to our PoE injector. This is the input port. Let's plug it in here. And this is the output port. Plug in the 100 meters Ethernet cable, and it is already powered up. The PoE output port is going to send power to our PoE extender so it can work. So let's plug in to the input port. Using the output port to connect with another 100 meters Ethernet cable. Just like this. Coming over here, we have now total 200 meters and connect it with a router. As you can see, our router is already powered up. So now it's getting the data from our Ethernet extension kit and the power from a power adapter. So the method one is done now. And I'm going to move on to the demonstration board to show you method two. So now we are going to showcase the method two using two pair of our Ethernet extension kit so we can have continuous Ethernet run up to 300 meters in between. As you can see, we don't need any devices in between. All we need is a single Ethernet cable. You can even bury it under the ground. So let's do the connection together. First of all, we have a router here. So I'm going to use a short patch cord connected and coming all the way to our PoE extender here. Make sure you plug it into the output port because for using two pair of them, we need to put the input port toward the input port. 
So now we already put it in the output port. I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to plug into the input port to our extender and connect it with our PoE output port. So now our PoE injector can inject power for our PoE extender so it can transmit the data. This is the 300 meters Ethernet cable. Let's plug it in here. Coming all the way, we are going to do the same thing here. Over here, we're going to plug in the 300 meters Ethernet cable to the input port. And then again, we need the PoE injector to inject power for our PoE extender. So plug it in here using the input port, facing the input port now. And you can see the indicated light is on. And I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect our PoE extender to another router that is 300 meters away. And it is already powered up. As you can see, it is working. So this is our method two using two Ethernet extension kit. And here are some more tips for you. Consider the specific requirement of your network in terms of distance. And scalability is important too, as your network needs may evolve. Ensure the chosen solution align with your scalability requirements and future-proofing strategies. And when optimizing performance, proper installation practices, and choosing reputable brand for components can enhance reliability. And regular maintenance and monitoring also play a role in ensuring the continued efficiency of your extended network. Overall, a well-informed decision considering factors like range, cost, scalability, and optimization is key to selecting the right solution for your specific network needs. And feel free to share your thoughts, leave comments, or ask any tech-related questions in the comment section below. Your insights and inquiries are valuable. And we are here to engage with you and provide the information that you're looking for. So let's build a community of knowledge and collaboration. And thank you very much for watching us. I'll see you in the next video.